614, time now for business news, and we say good morning to Mike Apple this morning from City News 680. Uh, good morning, Mike. Good Wednesday morning to you. Hello. Hello. Yep. How are you? Good, good. It's one of those Wednesdays where, again, we're going to be getting uh, some news that uh, we are, you know, we're expecting. If you've been in a grocery store or gone to the gas uh, station, you know what's probably coming up later on with inflation numbers. Yeah, this is this is going to be looking at the inflation yeah. numbers later this morning. It's like, through the fingers. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it, it's it's going to be up around eight and a half percent. Just uh, the overall price pressures that we've seen in the past year, Tammy, for the month of June, the basket of goods that Stats Canada tabulates, whether it is gas prices or food prices. And the most recent thing that's really gone through the roof, pardon the pun, is rental costs. This uh, report from Urban Nation. That indicates in the GTA, the price for rent has gone up the most on record in the past year. Uh, you know, we're looking at north of 20 percent on on rental costs. Vancouver, it's up 25 uh, percent. So all of these things factor into the monthly budget and things have gotten just out of hand for the most part when it comes to uh, just uh, paying the daily bills. Gas prices will be up over 50 percent. Will food prices top 10 percent? I mean, these are some of the things we'll be watching for in the uh, consumer price inflation data. And then the flip side will be the fact that the Bank of Canada will look at this and go, oh, we have to raise interest rates even more after last week's 1% increase in the overnight lending rate. So it just keeps on churning here, and it's probably not going to get better for well, maybe this month. I don't know. The price for gas has come down a little bit, so maybe the year-over-year -year comparable won't be quite so hot for the month of July, even though the temperature kind of is. Yeah, well, kind of. Very. A little uh, bit. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, it's not horrible here but elsewhere yeah, yeah oh yeah it was sure. a beautiful yesterday was a beautiful day actually for july in in the gta i personally thought but was, that's maybe we had a rain on air, rain it, on monday yeah rain on monday july summertime heat yesterday yeah perfect for the farmers i always go back to that okay <laughs> right okay of course tractors and all yeah go back to exactly the farmers for sure Excellent. exactly uh going to netflix <laughs> now so they released their corporate yes. earnings for uh the second quarter and a little yep. bit of a surprise when it comes to subscribers they lost uh, all, almost a million subscribers in the second quarter, which was not as bad as what they thought they were going to do. Uh, but he, here in North America, they actually lost, uh, uh, I think, over a million subscribers overall. They picked up some overseas. They're trying to find kind of an equilibrium, I suppose, when it comes to uh, the number of people online and what they're paying, of course, monthly subscription fees and just the cost of doing business right now for Netflix. Uh, obviously, Stranger Things was huge <laughs> in the second quarter. I don't know if you watch Stranger Things. I'm I all caught up. That's don't, the, no spoilers, that's a, Mike. Okay, I'm not gonna, not gonna do that. I'm actually caught up. That's one of the few things that I actually have watched in uh, in in, uh, in line with uh, everybody else. But anyway, um, this new movie that's coming out from Netflix that they're actually putting into theaters as well, uh, The Gray Man. Have you seen the trailers for this? I haven't seen the trailers, but I've seen it's, the it's, price it's tag. Chalk, it's it's chock full of really good looking people. <laughs> I don't mind that. Yeah. All right, Ryan, Ryan Gosling and. Uh, uh, and Chris Evans at Al and uh, yeah, 200, 200 million dollar pr production budget for this. 200 million for wow. Netflix. Think about that. How how times have changed. Used to be the big uh, studios in Hollywood that would have the the blockbuster budgets, but now it's come to the uh, the streaming services, whether it's Netflix or Apple or Amazon Prime. I mean, they uh, spend hundreds of millions of dollars on all these big budget movies. Wow. All right. Uh, yeah. And lastly, going to Porter Airlines. So I didn't know mm -hmm. that they were expecting or were expecting later in the fall that they may start uh, flying at a Pearson. Yep. Yeah, uh, they had already put in and uh, had ordered 30 jets mm -hmm. from Embraer out of Brazil. They're, they're expanding that order to 50 planes now and uh, announcing yesterday that uh, come this fall out of Pearson and Ottawa, Halifax International, they're going to be starting jet service. Uh, they don't have a specific date yet or which terminal out of Pearson uh, specifically, but this is a big expansion. Remember, they wanted to have the jets over on Billy Bishop. That was a no-go, so now they're uh, going uh, shifting part of their service at least um, to compete against Air Canada and WestJet more effectively on international routes and across Canada service and things like that. And and I, I spoke to Michael DeLuce, the uh, uh, CEO of Porter, and he said, you know, they figured things are going to calm down at Pearson later this fall, and they're not having as many of the staffing issues that uh, Air Canada and WestJet have had, so uh, they're ready to go. And this is going to be a very interesting travel season later this year, I think, uh, once Porter launches service to uh, have a, a viable competitor on those uh, routes to 
you know, maybe Florida or the Caribbean and such, and what price points. I think that's going to be interesting, too. Yeah, surprising they're in such good shape, considering they shut down for most yep. of the uh, pandemic. Yeah, Mike. I know, right? But yeah, big, it's, it's a big, 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 big purchase on their part. It's close, I think, $4 billion in new planes. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Mike. Have a All great right. Wednesday. We'll talk to you tomorrow.